Hakuna Matata. Do do do. What a wonderful phrase. Does that say 1994? Is yeah. that when it came out? Yeah, it came out the year we were born, I think. Woohoo! It means no worries for the, the rest, rest of your day. day. I'm feeling cute to be in the way. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm the most important one. No, okay. I'm kidding. Go, take the limelight. This one's your video though, so. Okay, isn't it? Go, go, do your intro. Go, go, click. Go, 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 quick, quick. Hey guys, it's Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Jamie. And Shaba. Yes, today I'm joined by the beautiful Shaba. She brings prettiness and joy to my channel. Nah, both things are already there, <laughs> my sweet. <laughs> and basically, today's video is kind of like in response to some comments and questions that we get about our relationship. So Shaba did a post on Instagram asking for like juicy couple questions about our relationship and stuff. We just filmed that, that was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It kind of highlighted the whole point of being an authentic couple and made us discuss certain aspects of our relationship that we share online and like and the how relationships that we get. in general are portrayed online. Yeah, so we wanted to have a chat about like the idea of the perfect couple and like people leaving comments about our relationship saying that it seems perfect and like people are jealous and <laughs> we see couple goals. Yeah, like that the whole hashtag couple goals thing. And we just wanted to have a chat about it. And it's not to say that like we're not gonna break up, we don't hate each other, we're not saying that we have a bad relationship. Though we may <laughs> break up at some point in the future because, you know, realistically that's what happens. We have Nothing's no plans guaranteed. on breaking up is what we're saying. It doesn't look like we're gonna break up, but you never know what's gonna happen in the future. I do not know what to do with this arm. I'm <laughs> so sorry. This whole time Hold you've on. been talking, I've Hold just on. been like... Hold on, I've got it, I've got it. Ready? Three, no! two... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna like dig on my arm. So basically, today we're gonna be talking about like the differences there may be between what people choose to share online mm -hmm. and portray in videos and what an actual like relationship looks like behind closed doors. And it's not all lovey-dovey all the time, it's not perfect, people argue and that's normal. Sometimes I don't like this one but most of the time I do. Basically, we're just gonna be having a chat about what our relationship is really like and about how sometimes portraying the idea of the perfect couple can be a bit misleading. And harmful. Let's go. So. What am I saying? I don't know what you want. <laughs> so, um, we watch quite a lot of couples on YouTube. I, I love couple videos. I love yeah. family vlogs. I just, I love people with people I love love. And I think it's you really love, you love. I love you love. I think it's sometimes really easy to get caught up in that and be like, oh, well they never argue. Like they're always yeah. amazing and they have really cute moments and oh my yeah. god, look at that really slow-mo shot of how he flicked her hair or how she touched her hand. Yeah, like, and look at all the exciting things that they vlog that they do together. We don't do that much stuff together. Yeah. Yeah. They seem to always be laughing and cuddling and kissing and just loving each other all the time. How do you do that? Where are the arguments? And it's really difficult sometimes to remember that this yeah. is an edited piece of content. This is not, I mean it's real life, mm. but it's an aspect of real life that people choose for you to see. And it's not really surprising that a lot of people choose to not show the bad stuff and certainly within a relationship because people are very quick to judge. Like we've seen it where like we'll say one off word or sentence to each other yeah. and like people are so quick to jump on it. And you think can't that, say that. Yeah, so and think that that makes you like a horrible person and a bad partner when it doesn't. Everybody especially has an Especially in my vlogs. Like yeah. I always worry sometimes, especially because like when I'm filming or something, maybe you'll say a comment which isn't even snarky, you know, mm. like it's not intentionally sort of or like we're quite a bantery couple yeah and then like when i'm editing I'm like oh mm, should i leave that in because you know someone might think that jamie's being mean or whatever yeah so there's this kind of pressure of like do we leave it in and be like or as authentic as like possible without yeah. oversharing yeah. or do we cut it out but then give away this kind of like fake overview of our lives that just makes it look perfect when it's not we argue we fall out we say stuff to each other we don't mean, like we upset each other, we don't do as much cute stuff together as we would like to. And that's all okay, it is like part of just a normal healthy relationship. And then when we do do cute things, like specifically go out to do things like, we don't go on dates very often, mm. we really don't. And we, we don't spend a lot of money together or on each other, but when those things do happen and we can foresee them, we'll get a camera out and mm. we'll film it because it's what we do. We're vloggers, we talk about our lives and we want to capture those special moments yeah. on film for us to look back on and not just that like I feel like part of my responsibility as someone online now not that I think I'm like this big online personality or anything <laughs> no but you know what I mean like I do videos primarily for me yeah. but also to make people happy yeah and it's really difficult sometimes to balance that whole authenticity with trying to 
keep the right vibe. You know, because you yeah. don't want people to click on your video to have an escape for a little while mm. and then just get like really down because yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. upset and, or having like a massive argument. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes like if you don't know people very intimately, you don't know them in real life, you don't always realise that the way people are talking to each other is very normal for that couple and very yeah. okay with that couple mm -hmm. is like banter between us mm -hmm. that filmed and watched out of context by people that don't know us and the way that we interact. And who may could, not react that way with their own partners. Yeah, it could be seen as an argument when neither of us in the situation are getting upset or hurt by the other. Yeah. So I think there's always like that worry that like people are just gonna think that we're too perfect or that we're not right for each other. Yeah. So it's getting that balance right and showing that we fall in between, as in we are right for each other. I know that you're right for me. I love you, I wanna be with you. And me You too. know, you make me a better person. The happy times way, way outweigh the negative times. Agreed. But there are just those pockets of bad times in any relationship. And let's be honest though, like even us, like I feel primarily the, the reason why I enjoy watching other people portray their lives is because I'm nosy. Yeah. And it's because you have the chance to escape and witness and experience someone else's life. And a part of that is thinking about your own opinions, mm. right? You do kind of judge, you, you kind of have to. Yeah. Mostly it's a happy thing that you do and you're just like, oh, they're wonderful together. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at what they're doing or, you know, that kind of thing. But it's normal for people to put their sixpence in. It's just not sometimes nice to hear it on the other side yeah. when you are being, or trying to be authentic and add some things in yeah. for them to go like, you guys should break up. Like, <laughs> I mean, I do think there's a difference between sitting and watching a video at home and, and thinking, oh, that was a bit funny. And, like, and then like leaving a comment being like, oh my God, you guys are such an awful couple because this tiny little bad thing happened and we're expecting you to be perfect. Not saying at all, by the way, that we receive like oh, yeah, no, these comments we're not at all. Calling out people who comment on like Shabba or Mine's videos. And this isn't a response video to yeah. getting that. We just, I don't know, like we've just been talking about it a lot. The yeah. authenticity of couples online. And it's just seeing that like most of the time, especially like large YouTubers, which I can understand, like they want to portray themselves as perfect and not get this like lashback from people that you just sometimes can't be bothered with. But when there is like the tiniest little thing you do see in the comments, that's what people jump on. And it's I, sad. Yeah. And I think it's like, this isn't anything bad on any YouTubers or any commenters. This is just us having yeah. a few commenters. <laughs> this is just us having a discussion about it and saying that a relationship can be perfectly healthy and happy without being this perfect argument, stress-free thing. I mean, I would say the really... <laughs> <laughs> I would say the relationships that are, you know, like, I would say like, you know when our friends are like, oh yeah, like we've been together for three months, we've never had an argument. That worries me. Like, <laughs> I think it's unhealthy if you don't shout or fight or disagree on things. Yeah, it's not yeah. normal to, like you're not clones of each other, you know? Like we argue all the time. Yeah, we have quite a lot of like petty arguments. And it's perfect. Like, I, I don't yeah. enjoy arguing, but it's good because we keep each other yeah. in check. We yeah. know where each other stands. And it's, it's a form of communication. Like, I'm not talking about like absolutely screaming each other and throwing at stuff. That's maybe How when it gets- you? Ah, That's maybe when it gets a bit more kind of, you might want to question things. Maybe when you're you need really to go and like, speak to someone. Yeah, and if it's happening a lot. But we're just talking about the kind of like, ever so slightly raised voices, like not shouting at all, just kind of instead of like this, you're kind of like, well, I think this should happen. Why do you not think that should happen? Like, Must you always leave the light on in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of arguments we're talking about. Yeah. But then there are like more serious ones where people cry and it's not pretty and it happens with us as well. Like I make Shabba cry sometimes, she makes me cry sometimes. We make each other upset sometimes. Sorry. But it's okay, I'm sorry too. But it's like, out of the like span of our relationship, we've probably had like two or three, like two yeah. major arguments. I could probably count our serious arguments on my fingers and toes, which is- That's 20. For seven years yeah. of being together, working in the same area, working outside of work mm. together, living together, you know, with all the animosity we faced as well. I would say that's quite good. And then the rest of it is just bickering because she's annoying. <laughs> as are you, dear. As are you. You really need to cut your hair. I think it would also be interesting to discuss, though. You're right, like, there is a level, though. You mentioned oversharing. There's a line that mm. even as authentic portrayals of couples, you don't yeah. want to cross. Yeah, it's, it, and I think that's a really important thing when you're sharing your life and your relationship mm. online, is to also save some stuff for each other and mm. for yourself. Like, it's really important that you keep those private moments 
that's why we don't show like kisses. Yeah. Like on the lips. So that was like my that request. Made me, that made me feel like I get my no lip kisses. <laughs> But that, you're right, that was like my request, like I, I personally don't like the idea of talking about the physical aspects of our relationship or showing physical aspects of our mm. relationship. I think we showed one that's for lip kiss once and I asked your permission, yeah. you said it was okay, we agreed on it, it was in for we'll like half a second. We'll let you find that, we'll let you find that. It's in a video <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. I do think as well that it's really difficult, like, especially with vlogging, because I vlog a lot. Mm. Like, recently, when I faced, like, that rejection, I just had, like, a sit-down, heart-to-heart chat with my camera. I was mm. like, blah, 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 And a fraction of that will go into yeah. the actual vlog. because afterwards, it was like, and I, I was there, and it was like, do you think you maybe overshared slightly, because some of that was very Personal private. Personal information. And then yeah. you were Not like... Not about other people. Yeah, 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 but, but just about you, and, yeah. and the kind of us, and then you were like, Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. And so like, it's that whole thing of just like, kind of censoring what you put out there, but not to the point where it's fake. Maybe like, censoring is the wrong word, like monitoring. Yeah, like, yeah, you kind of like review what you're going to put out on the internet. And like, it's important to us that we come across as ourselves, mm -hmm. authentic. We have our down days, we have our up days. We're not amazing people all the time. I think you're amazing. But like, do you know, you know what I mean? Too. Like, Not all the time. I hope you don't think I'm amazing all the time. I could be a right cow. Yeah, you can, you're a butthole <laughs> sometimes. But like, you know, everybody's got good and bad. Yeah. And it's, it's good to share it, but then not overshare it. I think sometimes, you know, like when something really happy is happening and you know that it's happening, you want to capture it on camera. Mm. Because I don't know about you, but that's why I, that's the only yeah. reason I have a camera. Your hand is going everywhere. It's to document it for myself and yeah, to share positive vibes. happy times in your life. So, you know, if yeah. I know I'm going to get you a gift or something, or something happy is going to happen, of course I'm going to whip my camera out. To whip it out. <laughs> whip it out. <laughs> but if we're arguing and we're crying, I'm not going to be like, oh, one second, where's my vlogging camera? And I'll be like, no, no, hell no, yeah. I'm an ugly cry. <laughs> there are some things that you just yeah don't share you know so like i'm not saying people should share like the very raw arguments but just like mentioning that you had a falling out with your partner yeah. like that that yeah. happens you may not see it but it happens yeah we argue a lot jamie sometimes or once has kicked a wall i have chucked no, no, and I... broken many an item not yet. not never <laughs> at each other never <laughs> directed at each other no. i also kicked a box into the wall the cat carrier breaking both the cat carrier and the wall no, you kicked the cat carrier. Oh yeah, breaking I, I, the cat carrier. No, no, I, I just kicked an old carrier. kettle box. Oh, yeah. oh, and that a kettle box damaged the wall. It had like a cat food bowl in and some treats, oh. and it just made a little like. Yeah. And then I was like, no, look what you've done. <laughs> See, we can laugh about it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely not at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think this was just supposed to be like an open chat saying that shit happens in relationships mm. there is a point where it is bad but most of the time it's just healthy to have these little arguments have these little discussions and debates with each other it's okay to fall out it's okay to not like each other sometimes and it's important for yeah. you guys to know that it happens because yes we obviously will share more of the happy things that happen in yeah. our lives because more happy stuff does happen as yeah. well though yeah. yeah but don't think that being a perfect couple and being hashtag couple goals means never arguing yeah, and never falling out, because it, you do. Yeah. When you live with somebody, oh my god, you were gonna bicker. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people suck. <laughs> people it's are true. annoying. People are the most amazing things in this world, but also the worst. Oh, that's deep. Oh it god. is, it is. Like, I think about this all the time. You and are, as much yeah. as I love you, you can be a right pain in the ass. Yeah, so can you. <laughs> I know, I hate myself. <laughs> Most of the time I look at you and I'm just like, oh, I love you. And then sometimes, <laughs> like we both say this sometimes, where we're just like, oh my God, I'm having a moment. And it's where you have that moment where your heart is just like, it feels like it's swelling. I know and the you perfect just want way to, to describe like... this. For those of you who have pets, right? I see Apollo and I just want to like squeeze him until his guts come out <laughs> of his mouth. Like, I'm just like, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, but towards you. Yeah, but sometimes it's not quite that violent. <laughs> and it's just like, I'd just be sitting on the sofa and I'll look at Shalba and I don't know, there's just something. And I'll be like, oh my god, I'm having a moment. And then I'm just like, this is like, I love you so much. Or when they do like yeah. really, really tiny things. Like, and I that... saw Jamie. Oh god. No, go on, what you can say. No, go on, tell <laughs> me. It's fine. It's no, fine. tell me, I want to know. No, I was going to say, like, I saw you pick up a can of Coke 
from the car because it's like a oh, right, really yeah. annoying thing that he does where he will leave open cans we have like three cup holders in our car and there'll just be stuff in them and then when i want to put stuff there or grab the key that's underneath it can't because there's a freaking coke can there that's been there for like weeks and he picked it up and i was just like i found the perfect being <laughs> to share my life with and you know i feel like that happens fairly regularly <laughs> and then on like a much less regular scale sometimes i'll just look at you and be like oh yeah. You're so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. why are you being so dramatic right now? Why are you pulling that face? Can you stop farting, please? Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, there are moments when Jamie will burp and I'll, like, rate it, or I'll be like, ha ah! ha! Or, you or know, you'll burp really back cute. and you'll be like, yes! Yeah. And then other times just be like, you are disgusting. You disgust me, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you're hanging. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going. <laughs> <laughs> my finger wasn't out. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. But anyway, stuff like that happens. Yeah. We love each other. Yeah. There are no plans to break up. Though, it's okay if we do. Yeah. It's okay to realise that that could happen. I want to be with you forever. And I would like to be with you forever. But I don't know what's going to happen. No, nope, but we don't plan on breaking up. No, definitely not. Oh yeah. my god, what would I do? I know. Who would wash my clothes? I would drink way too much Pepsi. You would also not cook very well. I wouldn't. I can cook, but I just don't enjoy it. You just live on an eternal spag bowl and curry jars. Yeah, you would be wearing your pants four different ways. Oh my god. You'd be wearing socks for a week. Oh, I just like wear period pads every day. Oh just my god, not Chubba. My pants. No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. That's awful. No, no, I probably wouldn't. But... Yeah, probably. <laughs> I want to definitely. I want to know that you can be a self-sufficient human being if we broke up. That's the only reason we're together, Jamie, because you do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're only together because you cook and do the phone calls. <laughs> but that's another thing. I feel like we've been together for a long time, and since we were really young, and we've lived together for like nearly six years, and so like we really know each other's flows. I know exactly what would upset you. I know exactly what would make you really happy. Sometimes you don't because you get annoyed, but like. And I know what you're going to do, and I know what I need to do in the relationship to keep life moving along. Though so sometimes we... you don't, like, uh, and oh, yeah. versa, there are still like those really big issues mm. that we don't fix or haven't quite worked out how to fix. Yeah, we kind mm. of very quickly realised that Sharma is just messy AF and I don't like to cook. So it was automatically like, okay, well, you do the cooking, I'll do the cleaning. And then kind of over the years, we definitely have these like very distinct roles within the house. And like, honestly, I need to like hire somebody to make my phone calls <laughs> if we broke up. And like, I could just imagine coming to like visit you or something at your bed sick because I would still be living here. And it would just oh, be- Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, would you now? <laughs> and it would just be an absolute mess. No, but do you know what I mean? Like, I think we work both emotionally together, but then also just practically. Practically The things compatible. you hate, I enjoy, and the things you enjoy, I hate. But I think you learn to compromise like that in a relationship anyway. Yeah. Like, you know that I'm not going to be a tidy person, and you enjoy cleaning. Yeah. So, a compromise on having a nice house is that you do that, but like, I realise that because you do that, I need to do things too. So yeah. I will take on more of the organisation stuff, mm. or cook. Or yeah, both. it's about finding your flow as a couple as well yeah. and giving yourselves a chance to do that It takes a while it takes like years to properly get to know somebody and there are still as I was saying times where we haven't figured that out Yeah, and, and something will happen will. and we'll just be like oh communication is key Like we, oh, yeah, we yeah. do try and communicate as much as we can We are very open as a couple I feel <laughs> you know like as we were saying Were we talking about window shopping in this one or the one that I just filmed? I don't know but like we window shop at, Yeah, like, so if that's we like, find someone else hot we, we get like openly oh God, say if we find so somebody attractive Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so like we're a really open couple in that sense where we talk about it and there's like, I don't, there's no serious jealousy. There's maybe a bit of like, hmm, but there's never like, oh, I'm, I'm really jealous. I don't trust you. Like mm. I trust you a hundred percent. And are you? But there so. are moments, for example, which is what I'm saying, like even when we talk about it, we don't do it. So for example, mm. when we argue, my biggest thing is like, let's shout it out. Let's get it done now. Yeah. All guns blazing, have the nasty, vindictive, horrible mess and find a way to sort it out right now, yeah. as we stand. Because if I walk away, I'm gonna think about this, and I'm gonna overthink about this, and I'm gonna draft these arguments in my head where I plan to annihilate you, you're very and good I'm gonna get me. <laughs> so irate just thinking about it again yeah. and again, it makes it worse. Whereas I like to go take a minute to calm down, because otherwise I won't be rational. Otherwise I just 
spurt like bullshit out of my mouth and I don't, I know I can feel it and I can't stop it and I come back. But yeah, I take a minute to calm down. So like, we are incompatible in that sense. And although <clears throat> we've not like worked out the kinks, it's something that doesn't like it's not going to break us up. Yeah, we've, it, we've not perfected it, and we probably never will, just because we're not compatible in that sense, but it doesn't mean that we don't work. So yeah, I don't know, I feel like this video's been really all over the shop. Yeah. Oh, but with arguing, something that we kind of learned is important is like, if it's about a bigger issue, is not to sweep it under the rug, and just oh be, God. and not just suddenly be like, oh, I'm really sorry, okay, love you, we're good again. No. It's to actually like, hash it out. Yeah. Like, if there is something that you disagree on, like where a bin should be placed in the kitchen. Our most recent argument, by the way. You know, that's quite like, still unresolved. trivial, but think of like a bigger thing. If you're clashing and you're having arguments, it's really important not to just make mm -hmm. up after each argument, really to be like, communicate with each other and chat about it and be like, okay, <clears throat> What's your issue? This is my issue. How can we work this out? Let's just hash it out. And, and have also a to discussion. accept, I think, that sometimes things can't be worked out. Like, yeah. it's okay to consider breaking up because if it's not fair on both of yeah. you as individuals, it's not going to work. Yeah. Don't, I'm not saying don't jump be, to the conclusion. Yeah, but don't be scared to have those chats because a lot of times things can be worked out by just talking to each other, but sometimes they can't, and it's better to know sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. This video does feel like it was all over the place, but I think it was covering like. It's been interesting though. Yeah, I, cool. I like it. This yeah. is like nice chat that we have like this. It's cool. It's like the debates we normally have. Yeah, off yeah, camp, but like, off it, yeah. <laughs> but it's also it's kind of like a discussion about us and relationships and stuff. Yeah. But it's basically saying that like not everything you see online is as it is. A lot of what you see online is kind of monitored and edited and like looks extra perfect and extra wonderful. And there are reasons for doing that. Like people yeah, are, are bad reasons. for doing that. We often do it ourselves in yeah. our own videos, but that's because we don't want to make you upset. You know, we realise that you, yeah. you watch our videos because, in some weird way, <laughs> you can gain some form of happiness from that, and that's great. So, like, people have their reasons for doing that. And there are things that you don't want to share. Yeah. You know, and rightfully so. Definitely. Everyone has the ability and right to not share everything about themselves. Yeah. And it's important to kind of realise things from both sides, why people might not want to share it, but why it might be kind of detrimental to people watching if they think that's what a relationship is always like. Yeah. And just being like, if you're in a relationship, communicate. Basically, yeah. just communicate with the other person. And the one thing, just one other thing, yeah, as far as I want to say, it really bugs me as well when I see it, I see it with other couples and we used to do it is when you go like it's fine someone's upset you like if you upset me and you're like it's fine or I say to you look I'm really not happy with this yeah and then you go it's fine and I'm like no it, it is not, not fine. fine that is why we are talking about That's this Chamba's mad voice <laughs> it is not fine there is there is a reason why I am saying this to you and oh my god I feel like we're gonna start arguing that <laughs> no, no. or you know likewise if someone's upset you and they go you know I'm really sorry for this don't mm. go it's okay it wasn't okay that they upset you talk about it tell them yeah tell them that it's not okay you don't have to have like a major falling out you don't have to fall be... out again but if someone says just... I'm sorry you don't be like yeah it's fine just be like thank, thank you for your you, apology but... I appreciate you realizing that yeah. this upset me. We hope you enjoyed this kind of rambly chat. Just know this isn't us saying that we're a bad couple who are going to break up. It's just saying that we're not as perfect as the whole like hashtag couple goals thing. Although you can be a couple goals and still argue and fall out. In fact, that, that is, is couple goals. That is couple goals to yeah. just be like a healthy, happy, loving couple works for that you. occasionally falls out yeah. and then makes up. And that's what we do. Yeah. 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 Are you feeling okay? Yeah. <laughs> and when you edit this as well, can you like try not to edit it too much? Like keep as much of it as Yeah, possible. oh this will like keep the natural flow of the conversation and only things like coughing fits and I had a coughing awkward fit, yeah. pauses and... That's it, that's yeah. that's all you edit out, everything else keep in. Like yeah. this, this keep it in. Yeah. Like. Not awkward pauses, like boring pauses where we're thinking about what to say. Yeah. But yeah. Which is like, yeah. authenticity. <gasps> I'm excited to see how it turns out. <laughs> I'll let you watch it before I put it out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and we made a video for Shaba's channel which will be up a bit later than this on Thursday mm -hmm. um, but definitely go like subscribe to her channel so you get the notification for it and you can okay, watch it, the link nice. is below. In that video, on the line of authenticity, we asked you for your very juicy questions about a relationship and we answered yeah. them as honestly as we possibly could. And yeah, we hope you enjoy both videos and... Jamie makes videos oh, every no. Wednesday and Sunday, please like and subscribe because he's amazing. Your face is so soft. Thanks, Lou. It's alright. You smell good. Oh, thank you. Good couple gun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye. I was going to say, be kind and have a great day. That's me, not you. I'm sorry. You can say it. Be kind and have a great day. Mwah.